Can you talk now? Are you okay? Azuki. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. Shit, I fucked up. Damn it. So I failed. I'm a failure, is what you're saying. Iba, call Iris' phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Please, just call. Damn it, I'm a failure. Hello? This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Oh, Tate. Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Okay. But if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Then go on a date with me. Uh, double no. A date? A if date? Me, we'll go on a date. I'll stay home and oh, not yeah. see me. Oh, Lord. If you don't promise me, then I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. You're an idiot, Iris. <sighs> All right. Understood. You're an idiot. Understood. Great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Oh, Lord. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya! Duh. You called me. What was that? A phone call? It's nothing. Okay, it's nothing, she says. Or he says. Uh, do you believe in prophetic dreams? Where is this coming from? Oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samyum. Her name is Iris Sagan. Yeah, I know. The girl you went to Bloom Park with today. How do you know that? Iba told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. Yes. Fucking tattletale. Anyway, about the prophetic dreams, please. Prophecies, huh? That's why you called Iris. But, Date, come on. I know. A dream is just a dream doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality but still i just have this gut feeling date are you all right perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects i hope that's all it is okay about what i saw in the somnium no need to report specifics we okay. saw it all from here on the control room okay what the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? Sure. We've got it all recorded. Cool. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented Can we go back and do it again then? Because I apparently fucked up. Either that or I just... No matter what you do, you don't actually heal her. I don't know. I don't know, man. I just... I feel like the other outcome must have been actually helping her so she speaks. Damn it. So we know about everything up. you saw. Yeah, yeah. The phone, the frozen corpse. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. About her phonia. It didn't go well. But it's not all bad. The sink wasn't a total waste of time. We heard a phone ring. We found clues. Clues? Right. I guess. Very small clues, but what about that ringtone, y'all? Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki Somnium. I know. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Did CSI report anything like that? No, but Ota did. No, nothing. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. I mean, Ota said that he lost his phone... Anyway, about Iris' body? Mizuki, I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She was dead. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. Date, there is no point attempting to speak with her. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. 
Yeah, yeah. Are you okay there, buddy? She didn't answer. No shit. About the ringtone. Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. She's not gonna tell you anything, bro. I heard a phone ring. Did you hear that somewhere? Or did you just imagine it? So wait, Date, she... There's no so she can't even do a yes or no nod? This is lame. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. Yeah, yeah. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. Maybe I fucked up. I'm sorry. Anyway, Nile message. Mizuki, I have to ask you. You got You're a Nile message time, bro. And then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was white. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. That's what Iba said. Alright, about that ice pick, though. Mizuki. When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not accusing you of anything. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Answer me, Mizuki. Tate, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. Damn it. Couldn't help Mizuki get her voice back. She's sitting on the chair. She looks drained like an abandoned doll. Like I fucked up. Like I fucked up. Anyway, anything to say about this pooter? About Somnium. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Okay. Uh, about them prophetic dreams, though. Ah, the corpse you saw in Samia. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She could have used some stab proof armor or something. I'm thinking that bitch is a backstabber. That's why this is very symbolic and shit. I'm just trying to get the right word. But yeah, I'm thinking the whole idea is that uh, maybe Mizuki wanted to stab her in the back because that bitch is a backstabber. Does that make sense? Something like that? Something like that, maybe. <laughs> just indulging in the fantasy of real life prophecies <laughs> i i understood don't mind me anyway prophecies are simply not possible true okay you see? Then. they're not possible you say well let me hear about this ringtone first before we summarize i know about the ringtone you heard uh-huh but i couldn't tell where it was coming from did mizuki actually hear that or was it just a dream or her imagination that's what i'm trying to find out can you analyze the sound or something? Unfortunately not. Okay, then summarize, bitch. I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there, it might not. I just want to be sure. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah, leave it to me. Yeah, why don't you call Ota's phone while we look for it? Anyway, Peter's standing around. I, I don't really feel like I need to look at all these monitors again, do I? Binder? There are pictures of a macho looking There are pictures of macho looking men in loincloths with roses in their mouths. Okay. Alright, well then. Thanks for that, Pooter. I'm glad I really looked at that. Okay. Hey, Date. Uh, remember that time you were blackout drunk? No. You thought that locker was a urinal? No. Please don't remind me. That never happened. Don't make shit up. Okay, so now I have to finish looking around because she might say some more words. Different strings of characters and numbers. Can you just scroll? That monitor is off. Anything else? 
Let's see the sink machine. Door. Door leads to the sink room. Steel shelf. Monitor. Today is oh. Saturday. No reaction drama should be broadcasting soon. First, no, it won't. Second, that's not even a TV. Idiot. Just a CRT monitor. Ugh. Another long table. This brings me back. Oh god. To what? Date and I used to make love on this table. The fuck? We did not. We just poured salmon roll and seaweed salad all over each other. What the hell? That sounds even more. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? We just we just ate food off each other's nude nude body on the table or whatever. I <laughs> that was absurd. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I found that one. That's hilarious. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Back to the park. Let's do it. <laughs> I need to find this phone, man. I still can't help but be bothered by the fact that I didn't help the girl and wonder if I could have done better. But I think that's the idea of the branching path is I can either do the good way or the bad way. I did it the now bad way. Yesterday night, the body of Shoko Nadami was found. Uh-huh. Her body was recovered from the now-defunct Bloom Park in the Kawasaki District. Uh-huh. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. Police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with any information to come forward. Hmm. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the capital city highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Six other individuals were treated for minor injuries. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Huh. I wonder if that story is relevant at all. Who's the guy that almost died? Is the guy that almost died the, that one guy we haven't seen yet? You know, like, we haven't got to talk to him yet? Whatever his name was? I keep forgetting his name. But, you know, the homie guy. Sh Shibuya. What is his name? Fuck, I keep forgetting his name. Anyway, it's 8.13 p.m. at Bloom Park. Now what kind of crazy shit's gonna go down? Okay. My AI friend is here horse from the merry-go-round. I'm going to look around at everything again just one more time. You never know what kind of dialogue crap will pop up again. Alright, looking in the column. Last night, Mizuki was found in that column. Why was she in there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why was she in the hoe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This beat fucking flows. This is sick. Don't you know? Control room. This is where the alright operates. And I guess the only other thing is what? Oh, it's the cityscape. And the sky. Shooting star. A wish, a wish. While I was thinking, the shooting star vanished. Damn it. Um, Reika from the Cabaret Club. The shooting star vanished before I can finish my wish. No! My wish about Reika, Rika, Rika, however you say that. Shooting star. I want a motorboat. Damn it, I was so close! There's no stars in the sky. Damn it! I fucked up all my wishes. Damn it. Can I wish for more wishes next time? Damn it. Damn it. Alright, let's just actually talk to Iba. Iba. Uh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? Wait. Uh, are you a ghost? Idiot. It's me. <laughs> who you? Me? It's me. Whom? I said me. But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Then, Iba? Bruh. But why? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. Cool. You can't see me through your right eye. Only your left. Okay. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? Shut up! She's just always in there, dude. Duh. Anyway, how do you appear in Somnium? I am connected to your brain via artificial nerves. Uh-huh. I am part of your working brain. 
Our minds are one. During the sync, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred, some of my main programming is also transferred. That is why I appear insomnia. Cool. Do I even need to explain this sort of thing to you? Not really. I have experienced syncing many times with you. Although, it is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. Uh-huh. Well, that's cool. Tell me about your appearance real quick. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? I was bored last night, so... Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, I did attempt to shape myself to your preference. Hell yeah. If you could do that, change it. Be Rika from Teeth Block. <laughs> I will not. Why not? Because I won't. Come on. I thought you were supposed to suit yourself to my preference. Come on. From Teeth Blau. What a name. Anyway, let's uh hear about this ringtone. It was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be far. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories, but that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. True that. Whatever you remember doesn't necessarily mean that's what happened. People's minds are wrong all the time. In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, or otherwise warped. Clearly, they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. Yeah, yeah, we know. The ringtone as well. Mizuki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that. But it's our only lead. So just look around and see if anything sounds like a ringing sound it doesn't necessarily have to be a phone it could be something else that makes noise around here right that just happened to be remembered as a sound that she heard as i mentioned earlier i cannot say for certain if there was a phone here uh-huh however if there is it must be well hidden uh-huh csi has already searched the area thoroughly uh -huh. but they did not discover anything well hidden huh maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye x-ray time time to x-ray it, 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 it x-ray how do i x-ray x-ray the horse oh my god in the horse in the horse there's a mysterious dude there's a phone in the horse the fuck look at that it appears to be a smartphone i knew it was in the horse don't lie you doubted me so how do i get it out I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. The horse's neck does not detach either. How the fuck did it get in there then? There must be some hole or something. I found one. Where? The mouth of the horse. I might be able to fit inside. One moment. What the hell, man? I got it! Well done, Iva. Well done. Yes. Good job, Iva. There's a phone in the horse. Of course. Of course there is. The heck, man. Alright, we got our first clue. Smartphone. Oh, Who owned this phone? The number is... This is Otis' phone. Told Iva the number. Results came back quickly. This is a rental phone. Oh, not Otis' phone necessarily. A rental? The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Well, look, who's good at doing false identities, though? Come on. Ota motherfucking Date, Ota. look at the device history. It's gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call. 9.02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Uh-huh. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. Uh-huh. Okay. Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. No numbers at all. It's a rental phone. What do you expect? Phone had no email addresses or browsing history. That could be clue either. Just the one clue. The call at 9.02 p.m. I had Iva look up the number. This number is also from a rental phone. S so it's two people colluding. No owner is registered. Motherfucker. Okay. Anything oh. else? What happened? The battery died. Son of a bitch. The screen turned off. Hmm. Huh? 
Don't hunt me. Call the number I just gave you. Iba, remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. It connected. It connected! Uh, my name is Kaname Date. I'm with the Metropolitan Police Department. Are you an idiot? They hung up. No shit, idiot. Oh, you think so? What a dumbass. What kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? That's the sound of me face palming right now. What the fuck kind of cop are you, Date? I couldn't help it. Yeah, you could have. You suck. I wasn't ready. I just said the first thing that came into my head. Idiot. You told me to call. I didn't think it you would work. You fucking suck, Date. Disappointing. Disappointing indeed. There is no other word for it. Exactly. You're telling me. Oh, you fucking suck. Call it again. Iba, can you call it again? I'll be ready this time, I swear. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. They're not gonna answer again. The number you have dialed is no longer. Told you. Service. Fucking dumbass. Damn, call deny. Call deny? Yeah, call deny. Oh, the thing Reka from the Cabaret Club did to your Oh, but um Scott him. Damn, you remember that? <laughs> So that's a cabaret club. Call Reka now! <laughs> Do it! <laughs> what? Why? I want to hear her voice. <laughs> she put you on call deny. Can't you try from another line? I can, but I won't. Use a payphone if <sighs> you want to call funny. her. That's fucking funny. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did that. I don't have my own phone. As long as I'm within range, I can use Iba to make any call I need to. Whether it's a traditional line or Nile message, I can have Iba help me. Iba's connected to my mind wirelessly as well. <coughs> Sorry. So even when she's outside of my eye socket, I can talk normally. Okay. Uh, what cell tower did that connect to? Near Third Street, Shinjuku. That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. Son of a bitch. The power also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line because you blew it. Son of a bitch. <sighs> you fucked up, bro. Uh, why was the phone in the horse? I want to know that. Unknown, but it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this or did someone else? Someone who's involved in this situation for sure. And for what specific purpose? Hmm, I do not know. Who is this person, man? Probably someone involved in the incident. No shit. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police. Fucking idiot, dude. Then refused further Fucking calls. idiot. That pisses me off, actually. Fucking idiot. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. <laughs> anyway, should we go to Kazuku? There would be no point to that now. True. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the Ah, <sighs> yep. Right. Dumbass. Anyway, let's get out of here, I guess. Iba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where are we going? Iris's house? Yeah, I'm curious. About, About to walk on in some dead people now. Absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. About to walk in on some dead peeps. Are you ready for some more dead peeps? All right, back to the Sagan residence. Time to have a fulfilled prophecy. You guys ready? 10.30 p.m. Sagan Residence. Hmm? Coming! Well, maybe not. Date! Um, nice sofa you have here. Comforting sofa. It's a sofa. Comfortable sofa. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, low table. Nothing on the table. Uh, cushion? Hey, Iva. What kind of furniture always catches a cold? An absurd question. Inanimate objects cannot be afflicted by viruses or bacteria. You don't know that? You can at least let me tell my joke. Ruined it. Ruined it. The language of the flowers, it means your mama. Phone. Telephone in the corner. Uh. Picture on the wall. It's that picture on the wall. Sa ah, shit. I didn't mean to click it again. It was an accident. Ah. Sad as fuck, you know. Ceiling fan that's spinning. Uh, there's a kitchen counter. There's a, a dining table. 
There, there's a bookshelf. Cider like down alcohol with wine, wooden shelf. Uh, what about the cabinet over here in the cupboard? A lot of dishes. What about this lamp? I right, let's just talk to the damn girl already. Uh, how's your, where's your mom at? By the way, where's your mom? She left earlier. What? Why are you home alone? Oh, I guess you're technically an adult. She got a Nile message from someone. Ah, oh, shit, dude. She's dead. She looked kind of panicky, too. Oh, she's double dead. Where did she go? Uh, don't know. She didn't tell me. You lie, dude. I'm hop, hop, hoppy, happy. Hop, hop, hop. Rabbit goes hop. What the fuck Why is wrong you with you? Oh, well, you see... Because I saw your dead body in a dream. Duh. Are you seriously going to tell her that? No. You hush. Hmm? Quiet, you. Uh, well. Date, you came. Yep, I'm here. But aren't you a little early? Huh? You said you would play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow. Nuh uh, I said I'd go on a date with you. No, I didn't. I did promise to go on a date with you. Tomorrow? It's not even midnight yet. Uh, what's your... I kept my promise by staying home, so you need to keep your promise, Date. Oh, Lord. Oh, did you want something to drink? No, sorry. I should be going. What? Leaving already? Maybe. Yeah, I have some work to do. Well, will you at least watch my stream at one? <laughs> stream? Don't you remember? I'm an internet idol. And you're going to stream online? Yeah. At one in the morning? Yeah. That's when all the pervs are up. Duh. Any young woman. You shouldn't stay up so late. What is that? What? what, the, what? Oh, jeez. You sound like an old man. Because he is an old man. Got him. It's fine. Today isn't for work. It's just a personal stream. That's not the issue. And tomorrow is Sunday. The day isn't the issue either. Sure it is. Anyway, please watch, okay? I'll ask you about it on tomorrow's date. Oh, Lord. Fine. I don't want to watch your damn stream. Date, I have been thinking. Oh God, what do you want? That's not good. I am glad that nothing bad happened. Yet? Yeah, you're right. Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Called it. Iris's words came to me. I stepped down hard on the accelerator. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, we made it to Sunday, guys. We did it. Hallelujah. <laughs> How did we ever make it? All right, back at the HQ, 9.30. Not an early riser, I see. Anyway, what's up, boss? Uh, anything else to report? About Renju. Renju? Yesterday, I told you he vanished after he was questioned. Uh-huh. Well, we found him. Hospital. Got in a car accident. Where? Central Hospital. Called it! He was brought there from a traffic accident. Called it! He's unconscious, so uh, it's not looking good. Too easy. Could it be? Capital Highway? Oh, you heard about it? We heard the report on the radio last night. I can't believe it was about Renju. Well then, uh, about the investigation. There's been no progress, as usual. The people at the main office are so incompetent. The smartphone you brought in yesterday is still our only lead. Hopefully there'll be a breakthrough. Hopefully. About that phone, though. I asked HQ to look into it. They found a few things. Ooh. First, the owner was Shoko Nadami. Oh! It was Shoko's phone? Interesting. Yes. Her face was registered in the phone's facial recognition authentication. Okay. Who called it? Who called the phone? Sorry, we don't know that yet. They called from a burner phone. They didn't register a name. I can make a deduction with this information. We know that the phone belonged to Shoko. Right. Whoever it was made their call at 9.02 p.m. after Shoko was killed. I believe we can make an assumption here. The caller probably wasn't the murderer. Why would they call the phone of the person they just killed? Maybe. Could be. I guess if the phone was in the horse, maybe the killer found it and threw it inside there? Maybe? But the culprit might have been trying to get Mizuki to call. Or maybe... 
or maybe Shoko threw it in there to hide her phone so somebody could hear the hear who it was you know what I mean basically as evidence so maybe whoever's on the other side of that phone heard the murder happen huh maybe so that they can bring her to the scene but then why hide the phone they would have left it somewhere easier to find true yeah I'm still questioning the whole phone thing because there's not a lot of info from the phone there's no calls in. There, I mean, calls out. There's only call uh, one call in, right? So that's weird. Um, anyway, no info about who called it, though. But either way, our mysterious caller is suspicious. Uh -huh. Consider this. They did not register the phone under their real name. Right, right. And also, right. they hung up as soon as Date mentioned he was a cop. Right, also right. And on top of that, uh -huh. they blocked Date's number and turned off the phone. Yup, yup, yup. The blame lies entirely with Date. One thousand percent. He's a dumbass. I suggest cutting his salary. I'll Me too. cut your battery. Do it. I'll plug in somewhere. <laughs> anyway, you have to identify the caller. If you don't want your salary cut. <sighs> Fine. Oh, we'll find him. Oh, we're finding him. Any other information on the phone? All the history's been erased. There's nothing on the phone itself, but we can still look up its records. I happen to have a friend at the cell company. The head office is looking into it now. Well, alrighty then. Uh, what about a Mizuki, real quick? She was returned to the hospital after the sink. She'll probably be hospitalized for a while. Damn it. Hmm? Strange. Mizuki's phone is at home, Date. What? The GPS and Wi-Fi access point confirm this. She went home by herself? Possibly. But why? Unknown. Huh. We might have to go there. Date, you should go talk to him. He is Shoko Nadami's former husband, after all. He might have some information. But he's still asleep, isn't he? Smack him across the face and wake him up. Damn. You're his friend, right? He'll understand. <sighs> Come on. Nothing else for the boss? Okay. What about to myself? Talk to myself. There would be no point. Let's not. <laughs> okay. Iba is outside my eye socket right now. But I can still see her through my... Her, okay. Right. Okay, so Iba's right there on the table, actually. Let's talk to her. Anything stand out to you? Date, you promised to go on a date with Iris yesterday. Yeah? What exactly are you planning to do? No fucking clue. What? Seriously? It's a social date. A man's promise is his bond. You absolutely must keep your word. Have you ever heard of a white lie? So, you're gonna act like it never happened. That's not what I said. The day's not over yet. If I go see her and socialize for a bit, that's a date, right? Oh, so you are not planning a real date then? No, of course not. If you say so. You almost sound relieved, Iva. Pardon? Are you jealous? Uh, impossible! I could never be jealous of a silly little human like her. Uh-huh, sure. Damn. Jealous as fuck! I think my AI wanted to fuck me that bad. Just kidding. <laughs> I am watching the case file of Shoko Nadami as it is updated in real time. Okay. Currently, it appears as though there has been no significant progress. Hmm. Hey, Date. Why not go to that bar you haven't been to in a while? Bar? Marble in Golden Yokocho. I see. Mama runs Marble. She's an informant who knows just about everything there is to know about the criminal underground. Maybe she knows something. Wow, really? Okay, what about Mizuki real quick? There are many points of interest surrounding Mizuki, but we will need to speak with her directly. I hope she gets better soon. Okay. Summary? Have three places to check. Central Hospital, where Renju is. I don't know if he's in any condition to talk, but it might help. I could also go home to see Mizuki or get information from Mama at Marvel. Can we do all three? Let's move. Roger that. I don't want to do all three. Anyway. Um, is there any reason to, like, look at everything again? Even though we've already looked at everything in this room? Wasn't that party a while back? How long have you had... Every day is like my every day. Uh, so you change every day? Sorry. I didn't mean to skip that. Maybe there's new dialogue. I picked up snowboarding recently. Okay. Oh? Why? This really hot guy from Kabuki Cho invited me. Nice. So. Nice. Just wanted to get fucked real hard. I get you. I understand. I I, I can uh, relate from the other side of things, I guess. Ugh, 
that thing's broken. I pedal and pedal. The damn thing won't move. She serious? Uh, it's called a stationary bike for reasons. Why do you have that here? We're six floors underground, right? What if it rains? We might get flooded. I don't think a floaty would save us in that predicament. Hey, man. She's just trying to be prepared, okay? Alright, well, I'm just gonna keep checking shit because new dialogue might happen. Cabinet. There's always a chance. Left mask. If you put that mask on, spikes come out that drink your blood. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Indeed. She likes to talk about different things if you keep talking to her about her stuff. It's good luck, you know? Whether it's catching fish or catching criminals. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Soba door curtain, restaurant door curtain. Ah, I feel woozy. I've been too much to drink. The fuck? Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. You said that about the soccer ball yesterday. Oh, that just reminded me of his balls. Because of the size, you know? What the? That sounds like a serious medical condition. <laughs> you know, he had serious balls. Bruh. Wow. She actually talked about his balls. Funny joke. That means rest in peace. No shit. As in... Sleep peacefully. Uh huh. Who's it for? Ma from the host club. Ma from the host club. Somebody dead as fuck, yo. Hey, boss. Why are you always sitting on top of the desk? Because I like to be on top of my work. Uh, she likes to be on top. Period. You sit that way on the off chance you get the opportunity to use a pun? Mmm, you mean sexual innuendo, is what you really mean. She just wanted to say that so she can imply that she likes to be on top. That's all. Ooh. How many times do I have to tell you to stop ogling me? I am not ogling you. Yeah, she is. She wants to be on top of you. That was she implied. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That was a piece of evidence in a case about eight years ago. A mathematics teacher used it to stab her boyfriend when she found out he was cheating on her. Oh, really? The triangular ruler must have come in handy for solving that love triangle. But, um, tss, I was waiting for it to finish because I could see where the, where the joke was going already. Boo. Yeah, boo indeed. I kind of agree. Anyway, we can look at the desk. There are stickers all over the front. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Anyway, oh, there's a clock down here, too. Broken clocks everywhere. Oh, yeah, what about the monkey? Or the tanuki? Nothing? Still a coffee maker? <sighs> there's just so many things to look at, man. It's crazy. It's okay. They're not... They don't have any... If they're not green... IP specifically oh, oh, refers oh. to the Latin phrase requiescat in pocket. Requiescat in pace. Boss is correct about the general meaning. Good for her. Okay, can we get out of here now? Man, okay. I I don't think I'm ready to stop quite yet, but we are getting close to, you know, stopping time. I'm just, I'm not sure where I want to go first. I feel like the marble thing is a good cliffhanger for next time to meet this mama chick. I think, let's start with my own house. I'm actually most interested to see why Mizuki's at home. What dad all about? Going home real quick to see what the fuck is going on. What the? Hitomi Sagan, Iris's mother. Also, what is happening? Do you see the fucking weights over there going up and down? That says 25 kgs and she's got like three on each side, bro. What is happening right now? Yes, but why? Oh, Date. Sorry for showing up like this. Yeah. No shit. What the hell is Suki, happening right now? What are you now? doing? What's it look like? What the? And who said you could start talking? Bench pressing. You can talk. Yes, she's no longer mute. What the fuck is happening? I received a Nile message from Azuki last night. Uh huh. Teacher, can you please help me? Teacher? I understood right away. The girl's been through so much. I couldn't say no to one of my students. Yeah, she has two on each side, not three. That's still 50 kgs on each side. 
the hell, dude? You're her teacher? That's right. Mizuki is in my homeroom class. Uh huh. I went to the hospital to pick her up. Okay. She left earlier. She got a Nile message from someone. That is what she said. Mizuki wrote a note saying that she wanted to go home. Not to Renju's house, but here. So that's the story. I apologize for coming over without asking. Okay. So many questions, but we're at home and in a new place. We gotta look at everything. That's an unusual pattern on this cushion. Don't question my cushions. Oh, don't touch that. That's Date's drool. Oh. That could be that could have been a much worse conversation than it actually was. Drool is the least worrisome thing it could have been. Three seat sofa, else uses as a bed. I've been sleeping here for four years. Mizuki took over my bed. Ah, uh, that makes sense. What a nice guy. What a chivalrous fella. Kitchen, there are seasonings and cooking equipment lying around. Let's check out that pot. It's a pot. All right. Condiments, seasoning, and sake for cooking. Coo, 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 coo. Refrigerator. Date, I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it. What'd you do? I looked inside your fridge earlier. Oh, God damn it. How could you? Why do you have so much meat in there? Because I like meat. What kind of question is this? Oh, I'm on a diet. You see, I'm, I'm a recovering vegetarian. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Look at his eyes. I am impressed you actually got a laugh. I am too. Good lord. His eyes popping out of his head was, looked ridiculous. It's packed with beer, food, and a bunch of meat. Mm-hmm. Oven hood. Honestly, that'd be about... I mean, beer, food, and... Is food not meat? Anyway, when I live on my own, eventually, when I have my own place and all that, uh, definitely gonna have a, a fridge full of meat. And that's, like, meat and drinks. And that's, like, all it's gonna be in there. Pretty much. And condiments for the meat. <laughs> anyway, a bed. Mizuki sleeps there every night. Wow, okay. Lighting, indeed. Large speaker. Cool, cool, cool. What's up with that's the Adora Yuma. Rabbit? It's Mizuki's favorite character. Is it? What's its name again? Yeah, that's Adora Rabbit. Adora, adorable rabbit. You gave it to Mizuki on her birthday. Did I? You don't have to tell her that. I'm sorry? Who cares if she knows when you gave it to her? The fuck? This is a nice sound system. Thanks. Oh, it's nothing special. It's not top of the line. I only spent a couple million yen. Oh, so it's cheap. That's good. I spilled soda on it on accident. Mizuki, you what? You bitch! I <laughs> uh, haven't paid it off yet. Wow. Expensive, huh? Alrighty then. Well, well, well. Okay. Moving on. Corkboard. There's a corkboard on the wall. Yes, there is. More filing cabinet. Keep a bunch of documents. Computer? PC. You're a studious man, aren't you, Date? I heard from Mizuki. Whenever she's not around, you're always on your computer, watching training videos. Yeah, you gotta learn. Training videos? Yes. A female secret agent caught in the enemy's hideout or something. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes, yeah, that, that. Right. Mm, yes. You saw me then? Mm. Mizuki, did you watch that movie? Only the title. Don't touch my computer without asking. Ah, lots of training videos in there, do you? Oh, yes, me too. Same, bro. Same. Anyway, large window. Got it. Got it. Here's the clothes thing. Hanging on a rack. We basically have one outfit. We each have one outfit It's because we're rational people. I don't want to waste my precious time and brain power thinking about what clothes to wear every day. A lot of successful businessmen and scientists do it. Keanu Mizuki and I do have other outfits. We just keep them somewhere else. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, dude. Clothing rack. I see you two hang your clothes side by side. Uh huh. You get along well. If you say so. I mean, we try. School bag. Backpack. In just a few months, she'll need a bigger backpack. They grow up so fast. You're gonna need a bigger backpack. Up smack iron pipe is on his back. Mizuki's favorite metal pipe. No idea what she uses it for. To beat the shit out of dudes or people, females, other oh, doesn't matter. She beats the fuck out of people. Bench press. Are you supposed to be that strong? Can we talk about how strong you are right now? Good lord. I'm gonna talk to his homie first, actually. Uh how'd you get her talking again? You know what? I actually don't know. I didn't do anything special. I just held her against me. Held her? 
I was hugging her close to me all night. When dawn came, I heard her say, teacher, and then she started to cry. As you can see, she's fine now. She had a lot bottled up. It came out with the tears, I think. Huh. So, wait, we can look at the x-ray? Wait, why would you want to x-ray her? What's the point of this? What is the point of this? That's... A plate of medical grade titanium in her right shoulder. Oh, this. She has a metal plate in her shoulder. Okay. Sorry, I was like, why would we want to x-ray her? What the heck? Okay, that makes more sense now. Uh, let's keep talking about other stuff first. Mizuki at school. She's a little quiet, but she's a very clever girl. Clever girl. And more than anything, she is kind. Kind? When I'm carrying heavy bags, she'll come and help me without me asking. When I'm troubled, she'll sometimes pick flowers to give to me. Not that she has a perfect disciplinary record, but she's a good girl. What's on her record? There are a few incidents. Once, she let out all the frogs that were going to be used for science class. Another time, she punched the bully so hard that he chipped a tooth. Sounds like more than just incidents. But yeah. I like that about her. She's saving the world, one frog and one bully at a time. She's a little clumsy, and just like Renju. You're her teacher? Yes, elementary school. I didn't know you taught at Mizuki school. I didn't know Mizuki was living with you. I knew about her circumstances with Renju, but he described you as a relative. But I suppose not. Mizuki explained the situation to me. Okay, Mizuki lives here with me. But I'm not her legal guardian. That's why I've never been to school with her or anything like that. I was all left to Renju. He might not be any good at raising her, but he is her father. He takes care of all the official stuff. That was one of the conditions for me taking in Mizuki. What a weird situation this is with him, her living with him. Isn't that weird? It, it's got to be weird, right? Like, they got to be real good friends if he lets his daughter stay with him. Or something, right? Something weird about this whole situation. Anyway, is it just a coincidence that you're Mizuki's teacher? You said you and Renju knew each other from high school, right? Yes, at Eitoku High. And you work at the public school here? That's right, a district elementary school. Is that a coincidence? You becoming the teacher of your friend's kid? Well, I hadn't always planned on being a teacher, but... It wasn't a coincidence that Mizuki ended up in my class. Renju seemed really intent on sending Mizuki to a school where I was teaching. They even moved to get into my school district. That was about five years ago, in spring. Before the divorce? Yes, but I heard that Shoko didn't have a problem with the move. Hmm. Officially, Mizuki lives at Renju's house. Her local elementary is actually pretty far from here, my house. Mizuki takes the train every morning to get there. Huh. Anyway, let me ask about this arm. Oh, does it bother you? Can you not move it? No, I can't even feel it, I'm afraid. It's attached by a metal plate, and otherwise it wouldn't even be there. Was there an accident, or...? I suppose you might call it that. About six years ago, I was shot in the shoulder. The nerves died, and... Huh. Anyway, the story is, one day a criminal broke into my house. He was carrying a gun. Huh. From the way he talked, he sounded insane. Drugs? Maybe. The police statement said that he wasn't under the influence of anything. Just a random crime. Huh. What? The dream I saw. That could have been... Okay, so she, she may not have been dead in that dream. She may have just got shot in the shoulder. Anyway, okay. Well, I guess I'm done talking to her. One seat sofa, y'all. Alright, well, I guess we'll talk to Mizuki now. Uh, about your aphonia, please. When I started talking to her, Mizuki re-racked the weight. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks to you. Well, not exactly you. It was teacher who stayed with me all night. Okay. Cool. Oh, sorry. I was like, what's happening? Anyway, uh, about the Nile message, please. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine, 
real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? There was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. Huh. Really? It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. Well, she's not dumb. I'll tell you that. Anyway, uh, why didn't you tell me about Hitomi? I couldn't. It's not like we have conversations about our day anyway. Because you don't talk. Because you don't listen. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Uh, tell me about her now, then. She's my teacher. She's special. She's daddy's friend and Iris's mom. Sometimes I have dinner at her house. She's extra nice to me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be. I should love all my students equally. But I see Mizuki after school sometimes, and she just looks so lonely. I can't help myself. So lonely. Okay, uh, why were you holding that ice pick, though, for real? When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I, The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So you pulled it out? Yeah. After Ota ran away? Yeah. Did you hear any sounds? Sounds? Like a ringing phone? Oh, I think I did hear something like that. But I don't remember where it was coming from. I just got scared and ran into the column. The door was open a little, so... Confirmed. The call at 9.02 p.m. It must have been the phone inside the horse ringing. Okay. Uh, about Renju real quick. What's wrong with Daddy? You haven't heard? Heard what? She does not know about the accident. Okay, well I haven't talked to him yet, so I'm not gonna say anything. So he's on the bench press, no shit. I don't think so. Her eye socket was empty? Yeah. Thanks. I'm sorry to have to ask you stuff like that. It's okay. Okay. So it was not Mizuki who took the eyeball. No shit. No. It was already gone when she got there. It's kinda what I expected. That eyeball has yet to be found. It was probably taken by the culprit. It was the eyeball bandit, of course. Duh. Summarize it. Anyway, Mizuki has recovered from her aphonia. If only if I would have done the fucking somnium thing correctly, I probably could have done it my goddamn self. But oh well. All right. It's it's we did it. It's fixed. Isn't that wonderful? Totally. Yeah. I did not know that Hitomi was Mizuki's homeroom teacher. Totally. Hmm. Is there something wrong? No. It's nothing. Okay, well, I guess that's what we learned this time. Um, man, I wish I knew where I was at on time. I should have probably had an actual timer open. But I think in the interest of just staying awake and alert and having good commentary for this, I should probably just stop now, even though I'm having fun and I'm getting more and more invested in this story. I'm trying to figure out what in the hell is going on with this whole situation. Um, I'm just going to call it here, I think. So, uh, yeah. How do I save it again? I thought I could, like, save it in the menu. Oh, it's because I didn't go into the menu till just now. Let's just take a quick look at some of this case note stuff, because we haven't really been doing this. But yeah, Iris is now in our thing. Hitomi's in here now. Uh, oops. Well, I guess Shoko's in there, but she was already in there. Ota's in there now. Mayumi, of course. Let's not forget about that crazy old lady. Can't forget about Pooter! Anyway, what else do we have? Right. Got some more information about Boys Love BL. You gotta know what but the Boys Love stands for. Nice. Don't be so close-minded. I'm not. Niall. Social network service that allows you to accept, exchange instant messages via smartphones and PC. My dream is to one day make stands for this. Niall is like Discord, I guess? Anyway, peace. Sync is the photosynaptic neurocoupling. Okay. Sinker is me. Because I can do the sync dork 
Wait, dork? A loser, geek. Dork? Was that in there before? Anyway, A set. You bet. A kind of call and response game that A set plays with her fans. Japanese idols often create a special cheer or slogan for their fans to memorize and chant at concerts. Oh, interesting. A set's cheer works by A set announcing a category and having her fans come up with two words that rhyme with A set. Ah, okay. That's weird. Shovel Forge. It's a ripoff of Minecraft. The end. Illuminati. <laughs> There's an Illuminati glossary. And the Dojin C. Fan made book to celebrate a particular franchise. Cool. Oh my god, there's so many of these. That's his pen name. Volatile Solvents. Time of Arrival. Cloud Storage. Sub. Oh, like a subscription to her account. Sync. Puncture Wounds. Aphonia. Time Insomnium. Somnium Underground. Doesn't give me any gigs. History. Call history. Dis is to insult. Well, I like that there's just like a glossary to learn fucking uh, terms. Oh, God. Look at that shit. Head office. Eye of Providence. The Lemniscuit lem gig. And, of course, the time limit on the Somnium thing. Very important stuff, guys. And then the last but not least is the album with I guess photos and stuff okay I don't know how I I guess all these things unlocked just from going through the game I must have unlocked some weird stuff just from like I don't know there hasn't been a whole lot of like indicators that I've been unlocking these things so I have no idea let's also look at the flow chart I'm actually quite curious to look at this as well aha see this is where it branched interesting so you can redo it and branch out okay well huh I don't know how long of a game this is if you do one path but you know me in visual novels I'm gonna be very interested in checking out the alternate paths when I go back through this game so we may be playing this game for a while if I do what I usually do with visual novels and check out all the paths but again we follow one path to the end before we worry about it too much but damn it but damn it <sighs> what are you gonna do all right well anyway I believe that's all we're gonna do for today though thank you guys for watching Somnium AI Somnium files hopefully you're enjoying what I've done so far with this because I'm certainly getting more and more intrigued by the moment with the more characters we get added into the story and the more intrigue and the more mystery that comes around this whole case i'm starting to think that the whole case might just be this you know the whole game might just be this case i thought there's gonna be multiple cases i think the whole thing is just this one mystery and we gotta get to the bottom of it man it might be more convoluted than i think it is or there might be way multiple ways it can go with multiple different culprits depending on how you solve it that would actually be quite cool so anyway i don't know i'm just speculating and please don't confirm or deny anything that i just said so thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in the next one, where we'll go around and talk to the other peoples. So I'll see you guys then. Peace!